Hey, what's going on guys? Craviator here once again. Welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 7 Tuning and Building Guide. Today we are doing a very, very legendary car in the game, which is the Aston Martin Vulcan. Um, you could, the only way to collect this, I'm pretty sure if I could be wrong, is to do the career mode. Or, if you're lucky enough, like me, who hasn't done the career mode, and search on the auction house for this particular car or any career mode cars. Um, I was lucky enough to buy this car off the auction house from someone that was very, very eager to get rid of this career based only car. So, I grabbed a pretty good deal myself. So, yes. So, if you do have this car and if you have done the career mode then you're in luck um, if you haven't go do the career mode or try your luck out on the auction house like I did you might get pretty lucky and grab yourself a deal as well uh, but <clears throat> this car is uh, for the hyper cars which um, I don't really go and do very often but I have had a bit of a dabble in it and um, it is quite a fun car to drive it's it's not what I'm used to. It did take a little bit of tuning, and um. Fuck me off, man. Oh. Oh whoa. Uh, sorry about that. Um, it did take a little bit of tuning. Tuning to do, and um. Yeah, so it took a couple of hours or so to get it all well as good as possible. But I tried to do my best, guys. Like I've. I keep these, um, when I do these open sources, I let you guys give me feedback and you guys can tinkle around and see if you can get it to go better. Um, but other than that, guys, if you have got this car, that's good. I'll go and I'll get straight to it. And so we're going to go to, well, we can't go to the garage because if you haven't got a um, buy car, if you haven't got it, well, try the auction house or go to career mode. But we're going to go to the upgrade shop. And the build is pretty simple, guys. We're going to go straight to the engine and we're going to put the displacement in. That's the only horsepower engine upgrade we will put in. And we're going to put tires. We're going to put the race tire compounds. We're going to put the, the max tire width on the front. And we're going to put the max tire width on the rear. Once we got that, we are going to put the F1 speed line rims or lightest rims equivalent to that. So that's the one I've got on because I always like that. And the the dishy and they look like really, really sexy. Especially on this car. This, this car is amazing. I bought this car with this paint. I don't know if this is the original paint. But whoever did this with the like this Tron looking streamlines is I like it a lot. So I've just left it as it is. Um, once we got that one guys, that is the build pretty much for it. We haven't got any rim size upgrades, front or rear. And we are going to go to tune car, which I, the tire pressures are 28 and a half and 28 and a half. Gearing is 331, first is 303, second is 214, third is 170, fourth is 135, fifth is 113, and sixth is 0.97. Alignment is negative 1.3, rear is one a uh, negative 1.0 on the camber, zero zero two and five caster. Roll bars are one and forty. Springs are one thousand and nine thirty, and the ride height is all the way at the top at four seven and five five. Rebound is ten point five and rear is nine point five. Bump stiffness is four point zero. And the rear is 3.0. Downforce is at 681 on the front, 970 on the rear. The braking balance is 48% on the braking force, and oh sorry, on the on the braking balance and on the pressure is 140. Like I've said before, guys, this is personal preference. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, I like it like this, so that's why I have it like this. And last but not least, guys, the differential is 100% on the acceleration and 0% on the deceleration. Once you've done that, guys, that is it for the tuning and building guard. 
Uh, currently, I have got a couple of number ones and a couple of top tens. Um, where have I tried it? Oh, was that Brands Hatch? Yes. It was Brands Hatch and... I did get number one just before. I don't know if it's still there. Uh, yes, so we got that. It's very, very close to F4H sale, but it's very quick. But it can go into the next second bracket if you do a very good lap. And also on the full, it will get into the minute 20s as well. I really does suck here. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, share, favorite, all that kind of good stuff. Um, if you want to see more of this content, type of content, please subscribe. And I will see you guys 